This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at closed captions in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the Timeline Index to control your closed caption display. Here's a really cool tip. Select a caption and type Command A so they're now selected. Then control click on the captions and say duplicate captions to a new language. And these are the languages you can pick from. And only these languages. You cannot type in your own text for the language name. I'm going to create a German track and it's for Austria and Germany and Switzerland. So I'm going to say all. And now I have an English track right here and a German track. Let's do that again. And I'm going to create Spanish track. If I can spell Spanish, starts with an S, and we're going to do it for Latin America. And I'm going to create a French track, and we'll make it for France. Notice that what's happened here, let's just pull this up a bit, is I now have English, French, German, and Spanish, only one of which can be active at a time. Now, why would I do this? Because there's a caption is timed, a caption has text and a caption has formatting. Once I've got the timing of my English and the timing and my formatting for the English, I can duplicate it and all I have to do is copy paste from the French translation into each caption. Because I don't speak French and I don't want to embarrass all of us, I'm going to just change this to French and press enter. And double click this, change it to German. Press enter and double click this and change it to Spanish. Now, obviously, Spanish is not the translation of the door opens, but you get the point. The display of captions is controlled from the timeline index. Here, captions are turned on. If I uncheck this, all of my captions are muted. Okay, the captions at the top of the frame. Then inside the timeline index, if I want to see English, and we'll make this 100% so we can make it easier to read, or French, or German, or Spanish. And remember, the font is not controlled by Final Cut, so don't let the poor font worry you. And I can only see one caption track at a time. Notice that all four of my tracks are visible. If I click this icon, I make the French invisible, I'll make the Spanish invisible, the German invisible, even the English invisible. If I have limited real estate, I can have my captions on, but hide the caption track, or layer, depending upon what you want to call it, by clicking this button over here. The timeline index determines which caption is active. I can only have one caption active at a time and whether the other captions are viewable or not viewable. We've already seen that when we're in the Timeline Index in the Roles section, the roles will allow me to turn captions on and off. When I go to the Captions section, I can search for a role. I can say Search for Love, and it shows the caption that has the word love in it. Or I can search for the word the, and it shows all the captions that have the word the in them, allowing me to do a, a find for a particular piece of text that I have to replace. Or let's say that you open a movie that's got a typo, and instead of the word love, it was L-O-E-V. So you can search for the wrong word, and rather than have to write down exactly where in a movie the typo was, you can search for the mistake and jump instantly there and correct it. This ability to search among the captions is really powerful. To get there, you have to be in the captions format and then type in the search box up here. It's very similar to searching for a particular marker, text inside a marker or text inside a title. Okay, I can see that it's misspelled. Double-click it there, Control-click, and say loved. I can't change spelling inside the timeline index. I can check spelling inside the clip, and I can either select it and choose spelling and grammar check now, right there, or 
I could highlight a specific word like I did with love and change the word. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at closed captions inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 253. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.